Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I got you another review of my Flying 3D X8 with telemetry. What I want to do today is I'm going, I'm out here in the desert as you can see, and I'm going to do some low level flying out here in the desert, and I want to fly out to about 300 meters and try to uh, maintain my position out at about 300 meters, and somewhere out there I'm going to do a return to landing and see how it uh, works. I really like the telemetry on this thing, telemetry option. I wish they all had telemetry. But uh, this time I'm going to know exactly how far out I am. And we'll also see the accuracy of the return to home from a uh, distant position. So I hope you enjoy this flight. I'm going to plug it in now and um, soon we'll go flying. Okay, I have 11 satellites locked on. I got an H dot of 9. And I think I'm ready to fly. I got the blue light. So I'm going to set my timer. This is going to be just a short flight out here. I'm still getting my uh, feet wet with this quadcopter. I'm setting my timer to seven minutes, and I'm starting it now. Wait, that was seven seconds. <laughs> Let's reset. Minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's give it eight minutes. Starting it now. Putting it in my pocket. Let's go for a flight. All right now I'm in manual. I'm going to start off in manual flying. Got the road quadcopter going and this is going to be manual and then I'm going to go to an altitude right about here and I'm going to go altitude hold right there go a little bit higher okay let's go a little bit higher because I want to I'm going to be skimming the ground and I don't want to hit the ground <laughs> and away we go I'm in altitude hold mode. I'm going to be flying most of this. I'm 84 meters away. 29 meters in altitude. Voltage 11.6. I'm going to be back here before when it gets into the tens. <laughs> 200 meters away. 250. I'm going to start turning to the left now. Going a little too high. Coming down in altitude a bit. 35. I want to stay about 35 meters. 300 meters away, turning to the left, turning to the left, turning to the left, 315 meters, okay, based on its uh, constant bearing, I'd say it's coming right back at me, yeah, and uh, distance is decreasing, it's moving to the right now, if I want to bring it directly back to me, i got to move to the right, but I'm keeping a forward pitch on it, yeah, most of this flight I want to be in altitude mode, uh, altitude hold. I want to see how much better that, if that's better at uh, reducing the jiggliness of the videos since I don't have a gimbal yet with this quadcopter. Hopefully it's less jiggly since it's running, it's just making corrections for altitude instead of just, and also position. 80 meters away, 90 meters, turning to the right a bit. 155 meters. 200 meters, 235, boy I like flying this, <laughs> this fly, seems to fly faster, I just flew the XK Detect and this seems to fly a lot faster, I'm at 325 meters, I'm turning to the right, bringing it in a little bit toward me now, okay it's bearing, chain, or it's bearing seems to be relatively constant, I'm moving to the left a bit, I'm going to try to bring it right over my head, bearing is constant right now, Moving to the right a bit, so I'm turning to the right a bit. Uh, distance decreasing, 280 meters. Still altitude is 34 meters. Voltage still 11.1. Yeah, this is a fun little quad. Flying 3D X8. It seems to be crabbing in the wind here. There is some wobble, I see that as it goes overhead there because we got some wind today and it's correcting itself for that wind. Okay, let's take it out to about 300 meters again. Then I'm going to enter GPS mode and then return to landing. 200 meters. 250. 280. 
300. Okay, you're letting go of the stick, entering GPS. Let's see, I'm looking off in the distance there. It's wobbling as it's trying to maintain this position. How many satellites do I got? 12 satellites, so it should be good. Let's do that return to landing. Setting the switch to our return to landing. Boy, I can hardly see that thing. I hope it's coming back. <laughs> it's a little dot off in the distance. Doesn't seem to be climbing. But it's still 321 meters, 314. Uh, distance is decreasing, so it, I guess it is coming back. <laughs> My voltage is 10.9 volts. I lost sight of it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Against the background of the mountains. Now I can see it easily. It's, it's above the uh, mountains. Let's see if I'm going to need to go back to manual or not. Or if it will land exactly where it took off. We'll find out. Coming back. 10.9 volts. It seems to be coming back to my car. <laughs> You're not going to land on my car like the, uh, the CX-20 tried to do. Oh no, it's coming. It's adjusting. Okay, it's 9 meters, 8 meters, 7 meters, 6 meters, 4 meters. Now it's starting its descent. I'm going to let it descend to landing. <laughs> it's wobbling here. And that was its landing. So, it doesn't seem to land very... <laughs> My wife's laughing at me. <laughs> so, when it doesn't return to landing, maybe once it's overhead, this one seems to... I had... A, how many satellites did I have? One. 11 satellites with an H top of 7, yet it was doing that wobble. So in a return to landing, um, once it's overhead, I recommend you take manual control or just put it back into altitude hold uh, control and land it manually. <laughs> um, that was pretty weird, but it's worth knowing. Okay, let's uh, unhook this thing. Okay, this is Quadcopter 101. That was the uh, flight of my XK Detect. Everything went smoothly there until that uh, final landing. I didn't want to take manual control. I wanted to see what it was doing. I saw it was wobbling there, but I wanted to, to give it its chance. Um, obviously, uh, sometimes if it's wobbling like that, you really need to take control right away. If it's, it seems to be off position from its uh, landing position, um, take control, put it back in an altitude hold mode or, or manual control to, to do that final landing with this quadcopter. Um, it did real good out at uh, Satellite Lake in that uh, manual landing, but today uh, was a different story. But other than that, the rest of the flight was excellent. Um, we flew all the way around the uh, field out of around 300 meters, all the way around myself, my position here in the desert. And it seemed to be, be great. I loved uh, working with that uh, telemetry on this too, being able to see how far away it was and how high it was too. Okay, this is Quadcopter 101, another flight of my Flying 3D X8. Hope you enjoyed the flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.